This is how you can create an unbeatable ad that your competition cannot compete with. Today, I'm giving away my entire framework of how we created an ad and an advertising campaign that reduced lead cost by up to 20 times. My name is Christopher Olivier. I run a digital media agency and consulting service where we help our clients get more clients, convert more traffic into buying customers. So if you like this kind of content, then please make sure and subscribe. So let's hop into the video of how you can create an unbeatable ad. Okay guys, I hope you have a wonderful day today. We're gonna to talk about the unbeatable ad structure that gets you 10 to 20 times cheaper leads. Now first I have to preface that there's no one size fits all approach, right? There are many ways to having an unbeatable ad. There are not many ways, but there are a couple of ways, but I do think this way is particularly good because it gives you organic distribution as well as advertising distribution. So when you think of the perfect ad, what do you think is the best ad out there? Is it, uh, you know, like a text ad? Is it a video ad? Is it um, calling out to do the prospect? Well, in my opinion or my thesis and what this video is based on, it is the ad that does not feel like an ad. The ad that people are sharing that people are liking, that people are commenting on, even if you don't pay them for it. And I assume a lot of you or most of you have seen this video. I don't know this if you is remember where it. Comes from. Right? The Squatty Potty ad. I've seen it personally a couple of years ago. And it was actually shared to me by a friend. And people were going crazy over this, right? Because not only were they like buying this product, <clears throat> I mean, this particular friend actually... Uh, just took a stool to help him with his uh, poop. But people were sharing this, right? People were learning something like that. I mean, I've personally, since I've watched this video, I've actually thought about the way, you know, humans are supposed to um, um, sit on a toilet, right? It made me rethink something. And I've, I've personally not shared this, but this was shared a lot with me. And this is just because I normally don't really share anything on social media. But... That video really was appreciated by the algorithm, by the people, because if the people, but because the algorithm is just the people, right? If the people already like your video organically, why should they not love them as ads, right? So in this video, it was run as an advertising, it was a killer, killer campaign. This made multiple, multiple millions. And the lesson here is to give people more of what they want. So in my opinion, and my thesis has been to test this with short form video content. This is not the only way you can actually do this. I mean, I wouldn't really say this video is a short form video, it's three minutes long, but you know, like the longer you make that video, the better it has to be and the more you have to hit on certain notes, but you wanna make advertising that is getting shared for free, right? And then you will have crazy CPMs, you will get crazy lead uh, costs and everything. This will all work out in your favor. But I do think short form is a very good way of actually achieving that. Why? Um, first of all, I do think text is probably like the worst way of doing it because it can be copied so fast. I can copy a text ad so fast. Um, I just slap my logo onto it. And if it's a carousel post and normally also text, text ads can perform good, but you know, like it's just so much competition here. And a video ad just gives you that extra, you know, that extra people can actually hear you, people can see you talk, and it just, it's it's a branding on top of the ad, right? Because people can uh, copy your text in the advertising, but that doesn't say it's the same ad, right? Uh, the another great way is you can actually post it on all, <coughs> all <coughs> excuse me, all the platforms. You can basically run that ad everywhere, and you get that uh, organic distribution for free, right? Like if you hit a million uh, views, uh, if you would pay $10 per CPM for that, that is $10,000 worth of traffic and even more. You can get millions and millions of views, right? And you post it on all the platforms, meaning the chance that you can go viral if you do it right and get that traffic is extremely high. And they're also easy and fast to create, right? So you can create them for advertising, but, um, you know, you can also create them organically. It's all the same process if you stick to that particular structure. I've made a video about it. I'm going to link it in the show and uh, video notes about that short form video content structure that is also very viable for advertising. We're going to talk about it in a second. But you can also do that with long form, although I do think, right, it gets tougher the longer it is. So how do you want to structure that video? How do you want to run that 
um, that that fun, right? So normally you want to make as much as many variations as you can on those hooks, on those different short form videos. You post them across the platforms. You look at how they're doing, how they're performing on the platform, and then you turn those proven contents into advertising. Meaning you expand on the topic, you expand on the hooks, and this will give you very very good ad costs. <clears throat> Normally, I always recommend two, three hooks uh, per video, two CTAs, right? Because if you use that structure, um, it's the, that's basically like uh, six different video variations, I think. Yes. <laughs> if you do two main parts or multiple main parts, you get more and more variations of that video. And if you do this for five videos a week, right, you will have 30 video variations and you can test, test, test. And that's the important stuff, right? Studies have shown that people who are the best at content, who are the best at ads, just test and produce way more than people who don't, right? So you have to keep keep that content production going, keep that ad production going. I do think with this method, you can do two things at the same time, which is genius. <clears throat> and this really will, will get you uh, a lot of ad savings and will get you way better cost. So let's look at the results that we run with a client, with a campaign, right? So he was, he was like his old ads, even though the CPMs were cheaper than we're now paying, right? That might be because that was 2022 or whatever. <clears throat> he was paying about 20 or $9 per lead. He's spending, so this is a, a good sample size, right? He spent as much as 120, but then, you know, a couple $60 campaigns. So CPA, CPMs were going up. The lead costs were going up for him. <clears throat> These are sizable numbers spent. That was before we implemented that strategy. That was when he was with another agency and they were not really... Like you can see the CTR is just very low. And <clears throat> now let's look at those CTRs, right? So people are going crazy with those videos. People are engaging, people are sharing, people are clicking on those videos. Lead costs have dropped to 270. This is a retargeting campaign that is just going for directly scheduled, right? Nine pounds, that means about $10 per booked call. That's a 20 minute consulting call. That Those are insane numbers, right? So we dropped the lead cost by four to, I don't know, like if you go for the 160, right, it's an insane range here. <clears throat> but um, definitely a massive, massive, massive decrease and we're not even producing extra ads. That's the crazy part, right? We're just um, looking at what creatives are working. Sometimes we're reproducing them for advertising, but we're not really doing anything extra. Of course, this will only work. Um, this will only get you clients if you have the right strategy in place. This is only a part of our first step strategy of actually converting attention to a paying client. Well, first of all, you need a way of actually generating that attention. We do that via organic content, paid traffic or direct outreach, capture the attention with a lead magnet or a good process. <clears throat> and then you need to educate your prospects, right? This is so important. You need to combine those ads, those short forms with those long form educating assets. People are just so skeptical at the moment without educating your market, you will not convert them. This is what I'm trying to do here, full transparency, and then you'll need to convert them on a sales call. So if you want to fast track, and if you want to get 10 to 20 times cheaper leads, if you want to implement that method, I just gave it to you. If you need help with that, then book a free 20 minute call. Link is in the description below. And I will run you through the exact framework that we're using on how we get 10 to 20 times cheaper leads and how we're getting more clients for our clients. So one more time, link in the description below, book a free 20 minute call. Otherwise, I wish you, I hope you implement this framework. This is just hitting on all the notes. You get the organic content, you get the advertising. These are two channels that I, in my opinion, absolutely have to hit. And this is, in my opinion, the best systems of how you can do it. Anyway, talk soon and I wish you a great day.